Hey Sagittarius and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your day or weekly, bi-weekly actually, love reading for February 1st through the 14th. Let's hit the eye down there so you can see your cards come out. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Sagittarius. That was quick. Your first card out being the Strength card, sign of Leo. Um, but just really um, taking your future into your own hands. You're coming from a place um, where you had to be strong. That was the only choice you had left um, was to get control over your situation and um, hold your head up high and move forward where you are at currently. Yeah. Oops. Way too many. Way too many again. All right. One card. Where you're at now. The eight of wands. So, um, very fiery energy for you guys. Spirit's advice to you guys. advice. There we go. The moon. Beautiful. Tight inferences. I did the Knight of Wands in reverse. Look at all this fire. And your overall outcome is the hanged man. Your shared energy between you and whoever it is you are dealing with is the Six of Swords, clarified by the Chariot and the Empress in reverse. Your bottom of the deck and overall theme of the reading is the five of wands. All right. Let's see what we got here for a second. Very, very fiery here. You could be um, separated or leaving a fire sign um, like yourself. But this is just someone, um, if it's not a fire sign, that had a, you guys had a lot of passion at one time. Um, you feel like <clears throat> there's nothing left. You have no choice but to move forward, but to move on, to leave these swords, um, to leave the arguments behind, to leave the fighting behind, um, to move forward um, to more he towards healing, to move forward uh, towards your dreams, towards your goals. Um, this person, this person was holding you back. You have you wanted to create something, create a life, create a project. There was something there that you wanted to build with this person and you weren't able to. You were being held back. Uh, your overall theme is the five of wands. So there was a lot of outside influences. There was a lot of outside people either on your side or their side that were trying to break this relationship up. It was trying to... Um, come in the middle of the two of you. They could have been telling each of you guys both different things to try to make you fight, to make you argue. And then they just stood back and watched you guys. Um, for some of you, this was a lot of competition. You have a lot of options. Um, this person wasn't giving you what you wanted. This person wasn't wanting to create a life that you had dreamed. So you're moving on. You have other options. You have other uh, other people to choose from if this person isn't going to to build that dream life with you. Um, where you're coming from is a place of strength. You are really facing your fears. You're moving forward. You're um, not letting anything hold you back at this point. And, oops. Yeah. You're actually coming from a very beautiful place. Yeah, I was just going to say one with the nine of pentacles. You have been investing in yourself. You're coming from a very beautiful place. You um, have faced your fears of being alone. You have faced your fears of not being enough, of not having enough, of not being able to offer enough. And you are really just uh, 
sitting pretty, looking beautiful, um, doing your thing. And you are attracting a lot of people towards you. Um, you have communi fast moving communication coming in uh, within these next two weeks, uh, closer to now than two weeks from now. But this is coming in very fast. Um, this is from a distance from you. Let's see what the Eight of Wands is here for, for Sagittarius's Eight of Wands in reverse, but it had a whole stack of cards behind it. What is the Eight of Wands here for for Sagittarius? What do they need to know? All right. The Seven of Wands. So communication is coming in, and it's really allowing you to let go. Um, you have been battling this. You have been fighting for this. You've been hoping, wishing, praying, hoping to find success, hoping that this person's going to reach out to you. They finally do reach out to you and it's just going to allow you to, uh, no longer feel like it's you against the world there. This situation has really made you feel like you're fighting this all by yourself. It's going to release that weight off your shoulders. Yeah. Why is the moon here? All right. So um, Spirit's advice to you is to um, find that deep passion within. The moon isn't always about secrets. Um, it's a lot of times about deep passion. Uh, connecting again with the universe. Connecting with that moon energy. With this energy that we are in right now. With this the eclipse and the full moon. It is working to your advantage. It is also bringing you out of a cloud of confusion with this person. Um, so when you connect with the moon, when you find your deep passion again, when you really uh, go deep, go within and see what it is that you really want, you, that cloud of confusion is going to disappear. You're going to be enlightened. You're going to be uh, find clarity within your own meditation during this moon energy. And you're going to find divine success with the um, crown above the sword there. And you're going to find, with this clarity, you're going to find much success. Because you have the two wreaths on the top of the crown. That is divine um, divine success. It's just, it's, it's going to be like that aha moment. But you have to go within. You have to go deep. The moon is deep emotion, romance, passion. Go within. What are you passionate about? Get deep with your own feelings and you're going to clearly then see that you don't want any of this anymore. You're wanting something that you can find success with. Um, <clears throat> yeah, your outside influence is the six of wands. You're gaining popularity. You are um, being noticed. You're publicly being acknowledged. Uh, you're really getting a handle on your life. It's right under the Nine of Pentacles. So you're getting a handle on your finances. Why is the Six of Wands here for Sagittarius's outside influence? The Four of Pentacles. So you, uh, with your outside influence, you're dealing with somebody who is very emotionally blocked, very emotionally shut off. They are not emotionally available. And, um, yeah, and you are going to find success within moving forward, um, success and bringing down this emotional block that this person has, because you are receiving the truth, remember, when um, you go within deep. Now, this clarity could come from an outside person. Um, if it doesn't come from an outside person, though, it will come to you. Uh, from the divine. You will receive what you need to know. This is the third time I've looked at the bottom of the deck and it's been the Hierophant as well. Um, where this is all headed is the Knight of Wands in reverse. So um, it's not moving right now. Yeah, because of outside conflict. There it is, the Five of Wands. It can't move forward because somebody's standing in your way. Somebody, somebody's, um, could be family, could be friends, but there's too many people talking in this person's ear. There's too many people's opinions that they are allowing to 
um, get in the way and making them emotionally blocked from moving forward. So it's just going to, <laughs> what everyone wants to hear, lead you to more waiting. The overall outcome is the hanged man. So more wait, more pause. Um, why is a hanged man here for Sagittarius and the overall outcome? Thank you. All right, the Eight of Wands. <clears throat> so, uh, you are going to be put in this hanged man position simply because um, they're not moving forward yet. They're not ready to come forward yet. So, are you going to continue to wait for this person or are you going to move forward? Um, communication is going to help you uh, be enlightened in this time. Uh, Either way, if you decide to wait for this person or not, you're not standing still. There's a difference between being stuck and being uh, and waiting. Because while you're waiting, you are working on yourself. You're healing yourself. You're becoming a better version of yourself. You're finding success financially. You're finding success within the, the public's eye. Um, you are really, really becoming a big deal, Sagittarius. Um, and you're hearing communication in this time. Um, of weight that's going to bring you success. I'm seeing a lot of success. I'm seeing a lot of people knowing you. Um, just a lot of great things coming in this first two weeks of February for you guys. And it's all being ushered in with this energy of the eclipse and the new moon or the full moon. All right. So pretty much same old, same old with this situation, um, except for you look absolutely fabulous. You have gained a new sense of yourself. You're finding success. But this person hasn't moved yet. They are still dealing with outside influences that are standing in your guys' way. You are, for some of you, you are moving forward. I'm telling you, for some of you, you're not waiting anymore. You are for sure moving forward. There is a small group of you, however, that will continue to wait for this earth sign I see. Earth or air or fire. Everything, there's no cups here. Yeah, there's no cups. So there's no emotion being involved. It's all... Uh, thoughts, money. This person could be um, still in the situation they're in due to being due to money issues. Um, they're worried they're not going to have enough, even though you're very successful. You could be the breadwinner, and they're very intimidated by that. They're wor you're worried about what they're going to contribute. That could be holding them back. But there's a lot of internal conflict that this person is trying to overcome before they move towards you, Sagittarius. All right, let's see what our prediction cards are, please. Three cards for the prediction in the next two weeks. These are future predictions with the after tarot. Three cards. Oops. Three cards for what? All right, there we go. Three right away. Wow. The Justice, the Two of Wands, and the Ace of Pentacles. How about that? They are going to move. They're going to take action. Wow. This person is going deep within. They are realizing that you are the person that they want to be with. You are the path that they want to take. The two of you um, can run the world together. The two of you have a deep, deep, passionate connection with this moon. They are being awoken to that. I just heard they are the one that is being awoke by the divine about this deep, passionate connection, not you. You're already aware of that, Sagittarius. You are very connected to the moon, very connected to the stars, the universe. They are the one that is being awoke and bringing, brought out of this confusion. And they are, they are deciding that you are who they want. They are going to take justice into their own hands. They are, for those of you waiting on somebody to get a divorce, I do see that happening. They are going to file for divorce um, and the and the scales are going to balance out. They are going to be able to come forward and offer you a commitment, offer you this new beginning, this new abundant beginning, finally. And that is what the two eight of wands, they're communicating with you um, that you are the person that they want to spend their life with. You are still going to be in this hanged man um, of healing because it's not going to happen overnight as we know, but they are reaching out con and connecting with you to tell you their progress, to tell you what their plans are, to ask you 
to walk down this path with them. Um, they're seeing you for what you're worth. They're seeing how successful you are. They're seeing you, that you are popular in the public's eye. Um, they still have a little bit of worry about what they can contribute to the relationship, but they are also realizing that if they don't act fast, somebody else is going to get you. You have a lot of options, a lot of competition out there. And the last thing they want you to do is to move away from them. And you're no longer going to be the mistress. You are going to be the empress with your emperor. So, all right, Sagittarius, what a beautiful reading that turned out to be. I hope you guys have a wonderful first couple weeks of February. Happy Valentine's Day to all of you lovers out there. Um, I send you guys all healing, love, light, and God bless.